since I did the hamster update video a couple of weeks ago, the most requested videos I've been getting from you guys have all been to do with the care of old age hamsters. So for the next few weeks, all of my hamster videos are going to be around the topic of old age, starting with this video, how to care for an elderly hamster. Hamsters typically begin to age once they've reached a year old, and you should notice some obvious signs of aging once they've reached 18 months. Hamsters continue to show signs of aging from that point onwards. From 18 months onwards, a hamster is considered a senior, and they may or may not need special care during this time and as they get older. Just remember that every hamster ages differently and at different rates, so you may not need to use all of these tips when caring for your elderly hamster, or you may find you need to use a few extra tips. So we're first going to talk about the setup of the cage, as you may need to change a few things depending on your hamster's abilities to get around. If your hamster's cage has high or multiple shelves in it, the first thing you'll want to consider doing is lowering them or removing them completely. As hamsters get older, they do suffer with mobility issues, they may find it harder to reach higher up shelves, and they may also find it a lot easier to fall off of those shelves and become injured. They do become more frail with age, so injury is more likely to happen, so either removing your shelves or lowering them so they're only a couple of inches off the ground floor is a really good idea. If your shelves have ladders or tubes for your hamsters to get up, up to them, you may also want to adjust these so that they're not at a steep angle. The older your hamster gets, the more difficult they will find it to climb up steep toys or steep ladders, so you do want to adjust them to make their life a little easier. If your hamster's food bowl, water bottle or their house is located on a shelf or higher level, I would recommend moving those down to the ground floor to make it easier for your hamster to access them. Again, as your hamster finds it more and more difficult to move around, they'll need all of the important things to be easily accessible to them. As your hamster gets older, their fur will start to thin out and they will lose a lot of body mass. Now, because of this, they will get colder quicker, which means you will want to provide extra nesting material and perhaps even a little extra substrate for them in order to keep them warm. Keeping your hamster at a comfortable temperature is very important, especially in old age, in order to keep them healthy. So also be sure that your hamster's cage is kept out of direct sunlight and kept away from drafts. Whether you choose to remove your hamster's wheel is completely up to you. Many people think it's a good idea to reduce the amount of exercise your hamster has in old age to give them more resting time and to put a little less pressure on their heart. And some people feel it's better to keep the wheel in to encourage your hamster to keep exercising in order to keep them strong, fit and healthy. So it's completely up to you whether you want to keep it or get rid of it. As your hamster gets older, their teeth will get more brittle and they will break more easily. So you may find that your hamster is avoiding eating so much of their hard food. Now you want to continue providing them with their hard food as it's very healthy for them, but as well as that, you may also want to provide them with softer foods if you're finding that your hamster isn't eating as much. Soft foods that are high in protein and nutritional value will allow for your hamster to continue eating healthily. So if you need some ideas for some soft foods which are really good for your hamster, there will be a list of them on screen now. As hamsters age, some may find it more and more difficult to clean themselves, especially around their bottom. It's important that you keep this area clean, so if you notice that your hamster does have a dirty bottom, then you can clean this very easily, either using some pet wipes, some baby wipes, or a damp cotton swab. Now all you have to do is check your hamster daily and just give that area a little bit of a clean. Just wipe it down gently and this will prevent any health problems from occurring in that area. The final tip I'm going to give when it comes to caring for old age hamsters is to know when not to go to a vet. Now this is contradictory to a lot of the things I say because I am always telling people to go to a vet when their hamster is sick or injured, but when it comes to old age hamsters, sometimes the stress caused by going to a vet can actually cause more harm than good. If your hamster has reached the stage in its life where it's suffering from a lot of age-related health problems, you may find yourself wanting to get them as much medical help as you can, but it's important to know when enough is enough. Regardless of the age of your hamster, taking them to the vet and getting them vet treatment is stressful, but with younger hamsters, it's so much more easy for them to bounce back from it and continue going with their lives without problems. With elderly hamsters, it's not so easy for them to deal with that stress and it can make their situation worse and it can cause more health problems than it fixes. Every living thing dies eventually and you do have to stop fighting that idea back at some point for the well-being of your pet. 
Now, nobody can tell you when it's time to make this decision. This is something you have to decide on on your own. You need to trust your own instincts and you need to listen to your hamster. And obviously hamsters don't talk, but you know your hamster better than anyone does. So watch their behavior and decide for yourself when it's time to just say no to going to a vet. Now that is a big decision to make, but do be confident in yourself when you make it and don't let others judge you for it. Again, you know your hamster better than anyone else and you will know when it's time for them to just be made as comfortable as possible for them to live out their last few days or weeks just being themselves with no medical intervention. That being said, if you are confident in feeling that a vet could help your hamster regardless of their age, then trust your decision there as well. And of course, if you feel that your hamster is suffering in their old age and you don't want them to continue with their suffering, then you do have the option of getting a vet's help to humanely end their life a little earlier. The topic of our pets aging and dying is not a pleasant one, but it's also one we can't avoid and it's important to be prepared for it. So if you did find this video useful, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up to help support the channel. And if you have any suggestions or any requests for videos you'd like me to make on the topic of caring for old age hamsters, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to cover those in a video over the coming weeks. Please also feel free to share this video with anyone you think may find it useful and you can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching this video guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!